for the next 24 hours, I will be driving my $150,000 Tesla with no hands and no feet. Let's go. <laughs> That's right, because Teslas are 99% capable of driving themselves from location A to location B, we will be putting my Tesla to the ultimate test by having it drive itself with autopilot from Southern California all the way to Yosemite, America's most beautiful national park. So definitely watch until the end of the video to see it because it is beautiful, my friends. And then we'll drive back with autopilot once again, making it a full 24 hour autopiloted round trip. Now, without further ado, let's get driving. Or, I mean, Let's get autopiloting. Okay, let's cut that out. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're on the road now. So I'm gonna show you how autopilot works and how you turn it on. There's a toggle, if you can see right on top of here, that you press two times to bring it forward to, towards yourself, and then you press it, and now the car is driving itself. My hands are off the wheel, my feet are off the wheel, and it's stopping, watch, watch, watch. This car's gonna stop on its own. That car's stopping, so my car's gonna stop. And all I can do is just grab my sandwich. Oop, that is mine, the technology. Connection right there. It's awesome. All right, I'll see y'all in like a little bit. What's up, y'all? Did you miss me? It's only been like one second. <laughs> so during our trip, we'll also be testing other crazy things that this robot car can do. Basically, there's a button on the car that says food, and it'll literally choose like the best food option around you for you to go eat at. And we're gonna let it choose what we eat for the entire trip. You ready? All right. <laughs> we'll also watch Netflix whenever we're charging the car. Press this button right here. When you park, you can use Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Twitch, TikTok, and even watch tutorials for how to work this Tesla robot car. We'll also prank people because I can turn this car into a huge fart mobile and it'll even turn this car into a dragon and have it fly through the mountains of Yosemite. I'm not even kidding y'all. I'm being serious. So watch until the end of the video if you want to see that. All right, I'll see you guys in about two hours or so. All right, y'all, we're coming up on hour two right now. Let's go, which means we've been on autopilot for about two hours now. And I just realized you all don't know just how fast this car is. It's literally one of the fastest cars on the market besides the Tesla Plaid model. This is actually the second fastest car on the market in terms of acceleration. This car has ludicrous mode, which means it goes from zero to 60 in about two seconds. Zero miles per hour to 60 miles per hour in two seconds. Do you realize how fast that is? You ready? Three, two, one. Okay, it's like a roller coaster. It goes insane. So we'll do it one last time. Right now we are at 50 and three, two, one. Zoom in. All right, I don't want to break my car. So we are going to take an exit and turn back autopilot on. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, hey there. You know what my car driving past all those other cars reminded me of? It reminded me of how fast ninjas run in Naruto. Speaking of which, when we hit 10 million subscribers, I will be hosting the world's biggest Naruto run. Just imagine that, but like hundreds of us going Naruto running in one direction that way. I'll even have my car Naruto run with us. So in theory, this car is allowed to go 30 miles per hour with the Falcon doors up. Y'all ready? We're going. Let's go, baby. I'm flying through the road right now with my wings. That is insane. So in other words, if you want to be part of the first world record for the world's biggest Naruto run, even if you don't like anime, come through. It's going to be a great time. We'll have food. We'll have a party. We'll have the whole Ian Nation battalion out there fighting hard for the war of anime and Naruto. Do you watch subbed or dubbed? Let me know in the comments. But basically, if you want to join in on the coolest world record of all time, hit that subscribe button. Destroy! That subscribe button and let's make this happen. Now, let's get back on the road. Woo! All right, y'all, it is hour five and my energy is still really good because I had some coffee. But I want to show you all some more things about the Tesla. So let's go over to the dashboard right here. So if I press on this thing right here called the toy box, it opens up a whole new level of things, including but not limited to Santa mode. It turns my car into Santa and it starts singing the Santa song. Now look at me. Whoa, am I Santa? When did that happen? Anyways, I brought... That was such a weird cut. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. But in the spirit of Christmas, because Christmas is literally in two weeks from now, I'm gonna get some gifts, Christmas gifts to some people on the way back to some strangers in the spirit of Christmas. Because why not? We're in a Tesla, it's a good vibes, whatever. But also, since Christmas is literally two weeks away, I'm thinking of going to North Korea, a country with no Christmas, and bringing Christmas to North Korea. Which honestly is not the safest idea I've ever had, and it's not the most staying alive video idea I've ever had, but I want to do it because you only live once, right? And sometimes you might not live to see 
Korea, but I will, okay? So if you wanna see me make that video, get this video to 200,000 likes because I will literally be risking my life to make that video. And it's gonna be titled, I Survived Christmas in North Korea. At the same time, if this video gets 200,000 likes, I will also make another video where I live in this Tesla for a week. I already made one where I live in it for 24 hours and y'all seem to like it. So why not do it for a week? It's gonna be a really smelly car. And once we get to the charger, I'm gonna show you guys the Tesla bed, which if you look back here, right now it's pretty messy. So at the next stop, we filling up the back with a bed. Jerry, if you wanna sleep in it, you can, but I'm holding you captive to this video, okay? All right, cool. <laughs> He's laughing, by the way. Oh my gosh, my stomach is hurting. Speaking of which, back to the dashboard. If I hit Rainbow Road, so whatever lane I stay in, it turns it into a rainbow and I drive through a rainbow all while not even driving. Once we do that, I can also turn on Mars mode and it turns into Mars. Then if we go submarine mode, so basically this car is moving its suspensions up and down to turn it into like a submarine going through the water. And then if we go to Sketchpad, Tesla is telling you to subscribe. Subscribe right now, let's go. <laughs> you can also go here and make music. We're talking fart emissions. Whenever someone sits in a certain seat, like the one Jerry's sitting on right now, my cameraman, I don't want him to know this. On the next turn signal, it's gonna make a fart sound where Jerry is sitting. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. You guys ready for this? Three, two, one. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear it? That was a wet one. Oh, Jerry, dude, what oh, are you man. doing, man? Yo, chill. Whoa, 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 dude. That's not me, man. Push it down. Save me. This guy is farting like crazy in here. Do you feel it under your chair? No, it's not vibrating. That's weird because you're the one making it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the charger. Let's go. Hello there, my friend. Since we're here at the charger right now, let me show you just what it's like. And these things charge so fast. I don't know what the exact electrical output is, but it used to take like two to three hours to charge a whole entire Tesla. Now it takes like 30 minutes. The white alien lights on, plug it in, and now it's charging. So it says supercharging, 30 minutes to continue your trip. It's absolutely insane. And now we are about three hours away from Yosemite, which means we have about 15 to 13 hours left on our trip, which is absolutely insane because I never thought I'd be doing a 24 hour long road trip without actually driving my car. <laughs> and now that we're parked, let me show you some games. Kids be like, you got games in your Tesla? And yeah, I do. All right, so we're back in the car, back to the dashboard, and you got so many games on here. They updated this thing like crazy. The one I like the most is the one where you can literally use your steering wheel to race in the game. And I showed you this in my last video about Tesla where I lived in it for 24 hours. Anyways, Jerry, are you hungry right now? I'm hungry. I'm pretty hungry too. So I think it's time to let our Tesla decide where to eat. And then I just go right over here to hungry. So we're gonna go to the top place and this is Buzz's drive-in. It's a one minute drive. So what do you say? Should we go walk there? You wanna walk there? Let's do it. I'm pretty hungry. All right, y'all, we're pulling up the Buzz's drive through or drive in. Sorry, I did, not, I did not say that. Buzz's drive in. The Tesla recommended this place. We're going to try it out. I always feel awkward giving money to people and putting them on camera because I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. So I'm just going to leave $10 of a tip inside of the tip bowl, even though our order didn't really even cost like $10. So. Yay! Let's go back to the car and eat. All right, y'all, so the Sunday was good, the split was good, but now it's time for the final verdict. The burger, the chicken burger. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. All right. Hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good, what do you think? That was good, they grilled the chicken. Yeah, and they got a little spices on it. One of their healthier options. Wow, Tesla, good job, I love you. While we're eating, we're gonna watch some YouTube. And what better than Ian Boggs' channel right here. By the way, y'all, a couple days ago, I was literally pregnant. Y'all, there's a dog over there. I don't know where this dog came from, but we were just eating and we saw it like walk away out from like there out of nowhere. So we're just gonna go feed it. In the spirit of giving of Christmas, I'm gonna try to give this dog some food. I got you, dude, don't worry, don't worry. Come here, I'll put it right here. Go for it, it's all yours, it's all yours. I think he's a stray dog. He's like really nervous to like come by and do anything. You don't want it, what, what, do, you, what do you usually eat? Do you not eat actual food? <laughs> Wait, well, I've never seen a dog be so like away from humans. All right, well, we tried our best. I guess it's not a stray dog. I thought it was gonna be like some like cute, like, oh wow, I found a stray dog. I took it home with me kind of story, but that's not happening today because it's obviously owned by somebody. I, he looks kind of old. I think he's doing fine. He looks healthy. All right, let's go back in the car and go to Yosemite. Y'all, I don't know if you can see this, but it says that it's snowing in Yosemite right now. Oh my gosh, I had no idea it was gonna be snowing. I, I, have, I have holes in my pants. I am not ready for this. I brought one jacket. I brought a beanie, a Santa hat, so we're chilling. Oh my gosh, y'all. It says snow for the next hour. Let's see what happens. I'll see y'all there. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's snow everywhere right now. The car is autopiloting through snow right now. This is kind of insane. I have never done anything like this before, and I'm really hoping we make it to at least the Charger. As you just saw, we were stopped by some dudes who um, were being nice to us. They're telling us that you can't go up without 
snow chains. I do not have snow chains with me. I had no idea you said it was gonna be snowy. We're gonna chance it. The worst that can happen is I get to a place where the car is obviously not gonna work and then I have to turn back. Either way, we are at our halfway point basically. So if I turn back, we'll still complete the challenge. But I do really wanna make it all the way to Yosemite because that was the main goal of this video too. The charger is now nine minutes away. We're super cool. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. That was one of the scariest things I think I've ever gone through. The car literally skid off the road. I think we should turn back. I'm going to try to find the next area we can turn back around. I don't want to waste a $180,000 car. Guys, I would love to show you Yosemite. I'm probably going to roll some B-roll clips of clips I've taken from Yosemite a long time ago or clips that I found on YouTube previously because it is a really beautiful place and I do have a lot of pictures from it at least that I, I've taken from before. But this does really suck. I really don't want to risk the lives of my videographer, Jerry, and myself, and this car. So I am driving right now because the autopilot would not do a U-turn by itself. So this is how you guys know I'm not faking videos because <laughs> I am literally out here in Yosemite right now. Legit almost just died. So you're on the good side of YouTube right now. I'm telling you guys. Honestly, I think it's a good sign from like God or any spirit we believe in because if we had God in all we have tunnel view fall off a cliff that high, this car would come crashing down miles on miles per hour down an entire mountain and we wouldn't even live to tell the tale. Oh man. It was my first time drifting though. Hey, give me one. <laughs> Did you see where how far we went off the cliff? Uh not really. I was looking at the camera screen, but I saw we were almost Dude, off the Dude, what a videographer. Oh my gosh, I appreciate it, man. Like we were literally about to fall off of that. That was one of the most dangerous things I've ever been through. And I do sincerely apologize because that was really reckless of me. Let this be a sign to all of you guys watching to drive safe. This is right there. It was right there. You can see our tracks. So basically, our tracks went all the way out there and almost fell off the mountain. Oh my gosh. Okay. I still want to show you guys what Yosemite looks like and how beautiful it is. So let's cut to the B-roll of Yosemite. Epic B-roll shots right now. Thank you so much for um, stopping us and everything. Yeah, yeah. It was not safe. Yeah, the car like skidded and everything. So yeah, anyone who doesn't have chains should definitely not go out there. Thank you for the thank you for the advice. Thank have a good one. Have a good night. So at the next charging station, I'll be showing you guys just how cool this Tesla can get when it turns into a dragon. It's like Transformers up in here. So without further ado, let's get charging and transforming. All right, y'all. So we ended up making it to a charger a little bit farther away. So we now only have seven hours left to complete our 24 hour road trip using autopilot. But before I do, allow me to introduce to you Dragon Mode. We are pretty hungry right now. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna go to the hungry mode. Press that hungry button one more time and see what kind of food options this is gonna give us. Come on, Tesla. All right, Lazy Dog Restaurant and Bar. You down for it? Let's go. All right, let's go. Hey, y'all, looks like Lazy Dog is right there. Literally, our car is right there. See what it's like and enjoy the food, I guess. Let's get in there. All right, y'all, the food is here and it looks amazing. I don't want to diss on the other fast food area, but this is some real food, so I'm ready to dive in. I think I might just eat it all in one go. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm gonna do my usual magic trick in all my videos. You ready for it? Three, two, one. Yeah? How was that? Still got some fries left to go, but I'm still I'm getting pretty full. Okay, all that's left to do now is to go back to the car and finish off this video. So let's go back to the car real quick. All right, y'all, we're in the car. We're in the final home stretch right now. I cannot explain to you just how tired I am after being awake for 24 hours straight. Actually more because we sat down to eat and stuff, but we are three hours away from our final charging destination. And I honestly am in dire need in very much need of a nap right now before we get to the final, final home stretch until we get home. So what I'm gonna do at the next charging station is show you guys how the bed works, how it fits perfectly inside of this car, and then take a nap, wake up, power through, and get home. Stay strong with me, fam. I'll see you there. All right, y'all, we are now at the final charging destination. It's called the trunk because it's a trunk at the front of the car. We got the car cover and the bed and a blanket and some towels if we need them. So now we have the bed all laid out right here. In about one second, I'll fill up the entire bed. Three, two, one. Yeah. Pretty nifty, huh? Do you guys want to dive in with me? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Ah. Oh my gosh, this is actually really comfortable. I could actually fall asleep like this. All right, it's time to nap, y'all. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Let's go. Oh, wait, why is my bed moving? Why am I in a spaceship? What's going on? Jerry, you there? All good. Oh my gosh. We're in the Tesla, y'all, and it's driving while I'm sleeping. That's crazy. And as you can see, Jerry's hands are not on the wheel. He's not driving. 
Just making sure we're all good in the pilot seat. I'm literally laying down out here, just chilling on my bed inside of a moving spaceship robot car. This is my first time letting someone drive my car. It's a really expensive car and I'm really like <laughs> untrusting with really expensive things, but Jerry's been doing a good job. This is kind of crazy. I never imagined I'd be sleeping in my car while it's driving itself back home. Like in what alien world does this ever happen? This is kind of giving me a little bit of car sickness. I'm gonna go back to the front, but this is really cool. Jerry, you wanna switch? Do it. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all, we are finally one hour and a half left from getting home. Let's go, woo! Ho, 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 we made it, my friends, let's go! Also, Tesla Santa has a present for you. Are y'all ready for it? It's a big one, it's a really cool one. You ready? Count down on me. Three, two, one. <laughs> subscribe, I'm, I'm looking at you. Watch, watch it, subscribe, wait now, subscribe! Ah! All right, y'all, so that is not the conclusion of this video. I wanna recap with you all. So all in all, this trip opened my eyes up to a lot of things, especially driving safe, which I was not considering too much in my head when we were driving through Yosemite in the snow. So as much as I love having fun and doing these challenges, I wanna remind you to please drive safe. It's not always cool or fun to do something just because you wanna do it. Like I was trying to do going up to Yosemite in the snow with no snow chains. However, this trip was absolutely incredible. Even though we didn't make it to the top of Yosemite and get the incredible view I wanna show you, things turned out for the better. Like I think we almost adopted a dog who didn't want to be adopted, <laughs> which kind of sucked. We tried two new food spots that we've never gone to if the Tesla hadn't recommended it. We almost died off a cliff on a Tesla in a $150,000 car. And we had the car turn into a dragon, an absolute beast of a dragon. Regardless, I'm really glad I did this and I'm glad you guys watched this video until the end. That's all for today's video. Get this video to 200,000 likes. If you want to see me go to North Korea, a country isolated from every other country in the world that unfortunately does not celebrate Christmas. So I want to bring Christmas there. But also, I am really curious to see what it's like to live in a Tesla for a week. So if this video gets 200,000 likes, I will live in my Tesla for a week and possibly convince a stranger to come along on a road trip with me and live in the Tesla with me for a week. But especially if you want to join the world's biggest Naruto run and just join in on a world record that's going to be so fun and eat lots of free food. Anyways, leave a comment of your favorite part of the video. Much love, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.